Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I showed you about my jawbone cancer and how uh, I was treated and what was the procedure that I had to undergo to actually treat that because I didn't opt for surgery. And I saw that many liked that video a lot. It was a very different kind of video. It was more of a vlog, I think. I really appreciate the love that I have received from everybody and also I've started this new series where I'm interviewing people who have fought cancer or are cancer survivors or are healthcare providers. I've just started with my first episode so I will link it here somewhere. Do watch it. It's in a different playlist altogether so I hope you like that part of the videos too. In the past I've spoke a lot about my journey and what all happened what did i go through and what was the treatment that i opt for so i did say that in my next video i will talk about my current situation so currently what's going on with me and what's going on with my journey so in the first part of this video i will talk about what is the next step to my uh, cancer journey or my cancer treatment and in the second part of this video i will talk about my mental health so let's start with the first part so to talk about my current situation i have to go a little bit behind and talk about what happened last year and where i am at at the moment so basically last year in the month of april i lost my dad i will talk about it when i talk about mental health so i lost my dad and i lost him due to cancer itself and after i went back to velour in the month of may for my follow-up and uh, when i did my pet ct scan at that time last year i found out that I had a small lesion in my liver. Other things were good, which was a good thing, like as in my other cancers were not detected and they were not there, but then I had a small lesion in my liver. Till now, I don't know if it is a metastasis or is it a new cancer that has been formed there. Uh, metastasis will be something that has spread from my previous cancer and that is a bad news but i don't know that yet and since i've gotten second cancer third cancer which is not related to my first cancer at all so that could happen to me given that i also have a genetic disorder so i will talk in length about the genetic disorder in my another video but yeah i have a genetic disorder and that is the reason why a new cancer can be formed but and at the same time i'm scared that it could be a metastasis we haven't found that out yet so uh, for that liver thing my doctors did not suggest me any surgery because it is a small lesion so they uh, wanted to opt for the same procedure that they did for my jawbone and if you haven't seen that video then i will link it somewhere here do watch it and you will understand what the procedure is so but briefly speaking uh, it was microwave ablation or radio frequency ablation so what happens in that procedure is that they take a needle or a probe and they make an incision and insert the probe in that area where the lesion or the cancer cell is there and they try to burn it with a high voltage of microwave so that's microwave ablation and so they try to do that again they try to use the same needle that they used for my jawbone because like i told you that needle is super expensive but i think the size did not uh, match and so they had to get another a new needle and I had to pay for the new needle it was expensive so bas basically I have two needles now that they can be reused they did the microwave ablation in my liver and I came back home and they had uh, suggested me to take chemo tablets like oral chemo uh, for a long time to help maintain my cancer growth and to prevent basically uh, it was a very low dose of chemo because i've already had very high doses of chemo and so i basically have maxed out the consumption of chemo that i can take i feel it's not like set medically i'm just assuming and then uh, i came back home with a lot of tablets and i have been having chemo tablets since last year june up to this year april so it's almost one year after that procedure when i came back home and i was having my tablets then after three months i went back for my pet ct scan this was the first time in two years that i got a good news that uh, my cancer was not detected at all everything was fine i had a really good report actually and i was 
happy but so scared at the same time i was not believing it and i didn't do this scan in velour i did it here in um, nearby my hometown in kwati i wasn't sure if it was the correct report if the report was reliable or not because i was too scared i was not believing it see since the beginning of 2022 i've been getting such a uh, terrible news that this one good news was very difficult to digest actually but then at the same time somewhere inside i was really happy i was excited that i was thinking that this is finally getting over for me and i'm so happy but that happiness didn't stay long because things went downhill again and yeah so i continued having my chemo tablets and after that i had to go for another pet ct scan three months after which was in january this year and when I went for my PET CT scan, I was paranoid. I don't know. I had a feeling. I had this inkling that this is going to be bad. It's not going to be good again. I, you know, sometimes people think I'm very pessimistic or I think negatively about things. But if you are in a position like me where you have gotten so many bad news, I think I like to be prepared for it. I like to pre be prepared for the bad news. The way I go about it might not be nice sometimes. I cry a lot. I get really scared. So yeah, I'll talk more about it in my mental health part. I do get really paranoid and I was really mm, being a pain at that time because I was so scared. I said, I don't want to go to the pet CT scan. I just know things are bad. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And then somehow I convinced myself and then I did go for the scan. And yeah, I was right. Things were not right. Uh, so the liver thing, the liver lesion that I had previously was back. And I still have it now. And it is there in my liver. So that was disappointing. So disappointing. Even though I say that I was preparing myself, I was somehow still hoping that things were good this time again. You know, I was really scared. And then it was bad. And with that bad news other things became bad for me personally also i was sad it's really sad not just medically but kind of personally also because i was in a very very bad state because i was so hopeful after my previous report that i was fine sadly that was not the case so <sighs> can't speak <laughs> Anyway, get it all together, yes. Yeah, so, uh, so luckily, one of my doctor from Bellore was visiting Shillong for consultations, and I could go and show him the report and consult with him directly here in Shillong itself. I didn't have to go to Bellore again. He had consulted with my main doctor, and uh, they suggested that I continue with my medicines, my chemo tablets, and after three months, I had to go to get the procedure done again for my liver and also for my follow-up checkup. And the time has come now. Um, next month, May, I'm going back to Velour. So they suggested for three cycles, but I could only take one and a half cycle of chemo tablets because my counts were really low this time. So this is very current. This is from the consultation with my doctor yesterday here. Yeah? my doctor suggested me that there's no point of continuing chemo tablets because that was mainly to help it stop the liver lesion to grow but since my counts are so low and i'm taking a lot of gaps in between which is not a nice thing which is not going according to the plan so there's no point in delaying the procedure that, that i need to undergo for my liver so i'm basically going back to velour for my liver uh, procedure next month and i'm hoping that this time things will go well and everything will be nice and just tired i just want things to go well i want to make a video one day that i'll tell you that i don't have cancer anymore so i'm tired of saying again and again that oh this is back that is back i have this cancer that cancer i'm so tired it's just never ending recently i have not been well I have been really weak and I have been sick most of the time. I couldn't do a lot of things. I try, I keep trying and then I fail again. And I, I think I have just exhausted all my energy now.
to even want to do anything anymore because of all these mm, bad news back to back Sia has not been really nice to me and I just hope that the remaining months of this year will actually be nicer to me now talking about mental health my mental health has been bad it has been bad it has been terrible i think people who follow me on instagram maybe they see that i keep posting things about being happy and then normal things are going well but many of you did come and ask me if i'm okay because i think it could just be seen that i'm not okay and i'm not okay i'll be honest that has been my MO since the beginning that I will always be honest. I'm not good at all. I'm in a very bad state of mind. My mental health is taking a toll on me and I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm tired of all these cancers and these bad news, these terrible news that I keep getting. I just for once want to have like a good news and even personally I've been facing a lot of things and it's not nice that it's all happening at the same time you know I want to seek help I'm trying to seek help and I'm trying to help myself mostly but it's not easy at all I think that positivity that I had in between is really fading away and how much can one tolerate you know and i've been tolerating a lot and this uh, feeling is nothing abnormal many people going through a lot of things in their life maybe feeling that they have had enough and i feel that i've had enough and i'm and maybe i hope that this phase will pass too like all the other phases that has passed in my life so talking about my dad like i said in the beginning of the video that i lost my dad last year in the month of april it's almost a year since i lost him me and my dad had to have a very difficult relationship to be honest so i do regret that also but at the same time i lost my dad due to cancer itself so when i was seeing my dad that time when i lost him I couldn't help but picture myself in that position because I have the same sickness and because of that I started to get more paranoid than I used to be that really messed up with a lot of things in my life and then recently I also lost a very good friend to cancer itself I will not talk about that much because I want to respect that friend's privacy but yes I did lose someone really close to me I was really cherishing our friendship and yes I lost my friend and even that put me in an yeah even that really in and messed up with my mental health a lot <sighs> yes I do post things in Instagram and I'm happy in those days you know I'm not saying all days are bad there are days that are good also it's not that I'm all pretending and there's no good things happening in my life there are um i can't sit and record myself crying so most of the days i'm basically crying sad very down very low and i want to get out of this dark time that i'm going through I feel like i'm losing myself somewhere and because i don't want the thing to happen because i like myself i just want to say that people if you're going through something it's okay it's okay to be sad it's okay to feel bad it's okay to cry it's okay to feel that life has been unfair with you because most of the times it does feel like that but at the same time i don't give up okay i don't give up and i'm not i'm still hoping that this part will pass soon and i will get better soon and i will come back with a video which is much happier than this one I know this is a bit sad when I cannot pretend to be happy anymore. I cannot pretend to be like, oh, everything is so cool. It's not. And it's okay. I will get through this too. I also will pray for all of you going through something bad in your life. We will get through this. But don't be sad, guys. I'll be okay. I've always been okay and I will always find my way back. And I am optimistic now. And now I've started to really work on myself work on my mental health work on my physical health also i've tried exercising again trying to be more active a little bit 
and I think I have been seeing some changes and that's really good. I will not want to end this video on a negative note. Things will get better and I'm fine. It's okay. Sometimes I am allowed to be sad and so are you and it's totally okay. It's a normal human behavior which we cannot escape from and that does not mean I'll stop having fun. I can cry on days and then the next day I'll get up and do other things and be fun again. And that's life. That's how it should be, you know. So not giving up is the main uh, objective here. So we are not giving up. Not me, not you, not anybody. So on that note, let's hope that in my next video I come with the better news and everything is much better in my life and in yours too thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel let's empower each other to overcome any obstacles and live our best lives while we can and please do not waste your time and enjoy every moment because every moment is precious and be there for your loved ones because they need you and yeah that's all bye see you in my next video